Hi guys, I'm back with another idea on using this um, Glimmer of the Month kit. So the Glimmer of the Month comes with some light blue sky bright foil. You get these two glimmer plates, you get a sentiment, um, and you get the dies which cut around these two glimmer plates. Check out my other videos where I show you the unboxing. But I finished off these cards and I just added some more of the creatures from the stamp of the month. This is for June 2023. I added some clear sequins. Okay. And this one. So they were a lot of fun to make, but I was struggling with this one because I didn't want to cover up the 3D embossing folder of the month. I have my ink blended, alcohol ink, um, foiled over the glimmer plate there. And I was like, how am I going to put something pretty on here? And I mentioned a couple times in the video that if you got the Don Wolfschlegel um, Seahorse Kisses set, well, I'm going to bring that into play here. So I have it sitting in my glimmer. It should be pretty warm now. And I'm bringing in a piece of the Spellbinders Essential Glimmer um, Specialty Clear Film. So this is heat proof thick acetate. Perfect for glimmering on. And I'm going to bring in some Aura Foil. And I think this is perfect. We can hot foil this over the top. Add that to the top of our card. And this foil kind of has a holographic rainbow look to it. So I really don't even need to add any color. So we're going to do pretty side down. Whoops, that happens. All right, and I want this more towards the bottom because I think I'm going to have to use the top to attach it to my card. And I'm just kind of feeling with my fingers to make sure I'm pretty centered there. All right, and we're going to give that the countdown. So I'm going to pause the video instead of making you guys wait the 60 seconds countdown. And I'll bring you right back in. Okay, you guys, the 60 seconds is up. We have our platinum. So we're just going to disengage this heat pad from the glimmer. We're going to roll this through. It should foil perfectly. I have no doubt that it will. down we'll put that to the side and then I was thinking okay how am I going to attach these things so many lifetimes ago I started off in scrapbooking and I bought all of these brads and I remembered that I had these brads here's one that's a starfish and Here's one that's a seashell. It's another seashell. So I think what we'll do, those two are lighthouses, is we will use these seashells, brads, to connect these to my card. So beautiful, stunning. Now down in here, I have a little bit of overfoiling. So we're going to just use a stiff brush and knock some of that off. You can see all that flake right off of there. I'm going to take a microfiber towel and just wipe that. Oh, got a little too much. I'm going to take a little bit of spray. I 
I just used a little stamp cleaner on there, that's all. You don't want anything too abrasive or it'll take the foil off. But look how beautiful that is. I still have some foil bits in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so now it's just a matter of, look at that, getting that to sit on top of there. Now my piece of acetate is a little bigger, but that's okay. I think that looks really cool. And I don't lose the effect of the 3D embossing folder in the back. I have that cool foil. All right, so I'm going to take my little crocodile, and this is gonna punch holes for me so I can put these brads in. So I'm gonna punch holes in the corners. I wanna have this lined up. So this will go all the way through the card, but I don't have to worry about adhesive showing up. So we can put and then I'll cut the excess off in a moment. And I believe, if you're interested in Brad's, I got these from the Brad Outlet. You can shop them online. Oh, let me go this one. Okay, those two shells are catty corner instead of up and down from each other. Check your stash. You don't always have to worry about hiding, um, attaching, you know, clear acetate. You can use vellums, you can use glue dots, things like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. All we're gonna do now is cut off that top excess. Acetate. And these new Spellbinder scissors. Ah, oh, I love them. All right, look at that. So now we have the 3D embossing folder, which is that beautiful seashell background. We have Don Wolfschlegel's Seahorse Kisses Glimmer Plate glimmered on to the Spellbinder's Glimmer Acetate. And then we have the Glimmer of the Month kind of sea um, wave in the background which I alcohol inked. And then we have these really cool kind of just brads just holding everything together. And then I have my sentiment on the inside. So I'm going by to say hi. And I think that looks good. I don't have to do anything else to it. And it's fun to see that see through like that. Let me know what you think. Again, if you're interested, the Don Wolf's Lego Seahorse Kisses is available at Spellbinders. The Wave and the 3D Embossing Folder are part of the June 2023 Glimmer of the Month and 3D Embossing Folder of the Month. I'll put more information down below. And again, I have my unboxing video and how I did this alcohol background wave um, attached for you guys as well. I'll put the video links in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye, guys.